Hello friends, today we will make a form. So first of all I will create a folder in my desktop and provide a name form or form. Just enter and right click here inside this folder. I will select open with code. I have Microsoft Visual Studio text editor. You can do it with notepad, notepad plus 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 or any other text editor. So I will uh, just simply click on open uh, with code. In order to access this folder inside Visual Studio Text Editor. So as you can see my folder is here form and I will just simply click on the form and I will come here and select new file. So just click new file. So provide a name for your file index.html. So once you have created in index.html then press shift 1 and enter this ready-made template will come for you or boiler plates of uh, text editor uh, visual studio text editor so i will change the title name to form okay now <coughs> i will add a heading and i will he say here regis Registration form or welcome to now open with live server as you can see welcome to registration form is added let's go ahead then I will add a container a dev Dev. Dev and provide a class for my dev. Uh, container. Inside this, and I will add a form. Add. So I will say add a form for me and the form should have a ID by the name of register. As you can see form is created and now we will say add a heading for heading 2 for me H2 and I will say here red Registration form. As you can see, added. So the next thing that we need, we need a label. Label. And I will say here first name. Control C. Control S. Let's see. As you can see, first name is added. Let's copy this and paste it here. So, as you can see, first name is OK. Then we will change first name to last name here in the second column. And the next here I will say change the phone number to uh, last name to phone number and in phone number so I will change it later then we will need a uh, what we will need then email ID then we will say password and here confirm password so <coughs> control is let's see now as you can see it's added so let's add a br tag also here in order to break the line 
बियार 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 ऑल्सो बियार हियर ऑल्सो बियार हियर ऑल्सो बियार कंट्रोल इज नाउ एज यू कैन सी इट्स ब्रेक नाउ uh what we need here we need a input also so i will just say here <coughs> input generator and what else a button so we'll do it later let's go let's add first of all let's add a input here so i'll say add a input for me type is type is equal to text and place holder is equal to enter your password your name sorry first name and i will add a class also class is equal to first same class i will add for all of this let's close it and i will copy this and paste for all of the labels now for the last name also and for the phone number so the next is for email and next for password and here for confirm password control s let's see now as you can see it is added <coughs> okay so now i will say add a br tag also here control s let's see now as you can see we are resulted break the line br means break the line for me break the line for me in here also break the line for me here also break the line here also break the line and in here also break the line control s as you can see the line is break now let's go and change the first one is okay the second one is also okay because we are entering text so i will change here first name to last name and the next is enter your instead of name phone number and let's also the type is also number let's make it number Hmm. And in here also, email, place holder, change it to email. ID here. password let's change the type also to password same in here also password and in here also sorry what happened here so i will what i will do i will just simply delete it or oh, sorry mm. <coughs> so i will copy this one copy and paste it in here and 
instead of enter your password we will say enter or confirm the password so let's see now as you can see it's change let's go ahead and what else we have need is here we need to add uh, select and I will add an ID for the select uh, what ID phone for the input also I will add a change the input of this to phone the class name of this phone and in here I will say option plus 91 copy this enter enter so 3 is ok 91 92 92 is for Pakistan 93 is for Afghanistan 91 is for lovely India oh what happened here why because we need to close this tag at the end of this option let's see now as you can see 919293 okay <coughs> 919293 so what else we need we need a button i think button and a gender we will add it later okay it's okay so here i will add a button and type uh, sorry type not type class class to btn And I will say send no not send submit. Let's see. Okay, submit is added here. <coughs> okay. And one thing more also we need here. We need a gender. So we have to add gender, uh, I think after phone number we have to add a gender, so let's go, after phone number, so I will just say input, type is, type is equal to radio. Okay, and class is equal to gender, and name is also equal to name or gender. <coughs> Here I will say male, and I will just copy this. and paste it and select here female I think it's created let's see now so as you can see male female is added so what we need here we need a BR tag also here BR tag BR tag 
ओके बी आर जैदर मेल फीमेल सो लेट्स एड समथिंग मोर वन थिंग मोर वी हैव फॉर गॉट राइट नाउ देयर इज अनदर जेंडर इज आल्सो एडेड सो लेट्स कॉपी दिस एंड ऐड से अदर्स yeah hmm. other is other let's oh sorry 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 so let me copy this okay as you can see form is added So I think the HTML part is finished. Let's go to the CSS part. So to add a CSS, I will just here I will add external CSS. So to add this external CSS, just type your link and in the href type style dot CSS control s. Just click create file. as you can see css so first of all i will test that in order to that i i want to see that my css is connected with my html or not so i'll just just say body just add a temporary color background color blue let's see so background is added here Okay, background is added successfully. Now let's the let's change the color. Background color is changed. Okay, so in here I will add one more thing. I will make the margins. Uh, Zero and padding zero by the help of universal selector. You know this star is called universal selector in here. So I will say margin zero pixel, padding zero pixel. Okay. Margin is also zero pixel, padding is also zero pixel. So. First of all, we need to add this welcome to registration form into the center. So I'll say h1 text align center control s and as you can see uh, it's added. So let's add a padding for this. we can do it by the margin also so we can add uh, padding is better here to add padding 20 pixel let's see now as you can see a uh, space have been added here okay now what we need here we need to add a <coughs> now i will come to this container after h1 heading we have here a container so let's add css for this container also this one this container so i will say dot container so first of all i will first of all add a background background for this blue and in here delete i will just delete the background and here i'll select here a color let's see as you can see color is added so <coughs> color and then add a margin margin Zero pixel, zero pixel, zero pixel, and then here write uh, to two hundred pixel. Let's see. As you can see, margin is added. 
Now add a width for this width. I will say 400 pixel. Okay. Uh, so let's add more width 500 pixel. Okay, 500 is added. And now uh, let's add some more. So what I will do, I will just simply inspect here and I will edit it from here. So where is the container? The container margin here. Uh, I will change this 200 in order to bring it in the center. Okay, so I will just copy this and paste it into the here. Paste. Okay, margin. Control S. What happened with it? Three to five hundred pixel. Control this. So as you can see, it has changed. Now what we next here we have to add a border reduce border reduce to 10 pixel and as well as <coughs> here we need a what we need padding padding 20 pixel So as you can see padding is also added. Now what we need here, I, I have to bring this registration form into the center. So I'll just say here H2 and fix the line center padding 20. 20 pixel now let's see so as you can see it is at in the center so what we need here we have to come for what <coughs> for the form so I'll just say here that form the, I'm talking about this form here form and ID is registered so I will just simply copy this and I will say margin right margin right 200 pixel let's see now let's change it from here I will select what inside this container and for margin is right 200 okay Okay, I have to add it for the left margin left. Now let's see. Okay, nice. Okay, let's leave. 
okay i think this one is better 144 for the left so let's change it to 144 144 ctrl s 144 is added so now this heat 2 is here uh, let's cut heat 2 from into here cut it and paste it here ctrl s so as you can see this one is also added now let's come for the label so i'll just simply here say label and color change color to white let's see color is added let's add a font font size font size uh, 20 pixel as as you can see font size is also added uh, now let's add a uh, font family so I will add this one so as you can see it's changed so this one is also finished now let's come for the what yes. <coughs> for the input part so for the input part let's go and see the input class name is first so I'll just say here dot first weight how much weight weight 200 pixel or let's add more Let's see, 4300 pixels enough, I think. Okay, weight is better. Now let's change it to 280, 280 pixel, and add a padding for the weight all input also padding, padding pixel now let's see let's add some more padding 5 pixels in enough uh, 5 pixel is enough ok and border reduce also border reduce <coughs> to 3 pixel uh, 10 pixel no yeah, 10 pixel is better, I think. 10 pixel. Border reduce is also added. I think we have had more 10 border reduce. Let's change it to 5 pixel. So, as you can see, border re reduce is also changed. So, now let's bring it into the center. In order to bring it into the center, what I will do here I will just come to where is the margin left so I will say here I will select selector and in container inside the container we have what for so margin let's i think one one two is okay so i'll just say one one two one two control s so as you can see this one is added also now let's come for the button 
let's go and see the class name of button is btn so i'll just say dot btn and r padding 20 pixel mal border 2 pixel pixel solid grey let's see as you can see <coughs> so party I will say uh, 15 pixel for up top button and 15 pixel also from or 20 23 pixel from left and right let's see now as you can see submit button is here so let's add please change the padding here to 11 and change it here to uh, 30 also color to white change the color to white the next what we need here border radius border radius uh, 10 pix 8 pix a sorry 8 uh, 9 pixel so color i have to change the color of button here background black let's see now as you can see background is added ok background is also changed now let's come for this phone number so ok for the phone number here id is phone <coughs> so so for phone number also same we have to work here hash phone so, so let's copy from inputs where is our input first wait wait 200 pixel and padding then we will change the padding don't worry padding let's see now so why it's not change let's see in here oh phone is in the capital letter so I'll just copy this and paste it here Now control is let's see now as you can see this one is added so I'll just simply inspect here okay and I will select the selectors from here <coughs> here is the selector now change change it from here I think 50 is ok so I'll just say wait add a wait 50 
50 pixel and the next that we need to change is here this <coughs> input so I will just add a dot phone I think phone again let's see okay this is phone right so I will just say here dot phone and add weight for this also uh, 200 pixel and same padding also padding 5 pixel let's see now so let's change it from here I will just click on the selectors and you can see this is the phone number and I will change the width to 25 pixel so sorry to 25 pixel control is so